hey what's up y'all um i've been missing for uh, just a little bit but um today's topic is going to be about um the teacher that was in baltimore i think it was carter vocational high school in baltimore whatever and basically the teacher got into a fight with, a fight with one of the students um the girl was 17 and i think how it started was um the teacher was giving a test in her classroom and she told the girl the girl um student was on her, on her cell phone in the classroom and so she told the girl that if you if you don't get off your phone, I'm going to have to stop the test. Well, I don't know how one thing led to another, but I know they ended up in the hallway because I saw the video. And I'm like, I was like, whoa, whoa. I was like, wow. But they ended up in the hallway and they were exchanging words. And the 17-year-old the female threw a book at her, said something, and threw a book at the teacher. Now... To me, the book was used as a weapon. Matter of fact, she meant it as a weapon. That's why she threw it. She wanted to hit the teacher. She wanted to hit the teacher. But see, what she got, I'm pretty sure she wasn't expecting. So, mm, the teacher went off. And basically, the teacher whooped that ass. They was fighting like two teenagers. And a lot of... It's a lot of um, adults that are saying that the teacher's supposed to be a role model and she should have took the high road and all this other stuff. And the girl's um, aunt, when she saw the video, she was pissed off. And the reason, I think the reason why the aunt was pissed off is because that's her niece. So you're supposed to be pissed off or whatever. But if you're going to be pissed off, be pissed off at your niece because you saw your niece throw the book. And I think her grandmother was um, was pissed off too. And, you know, but they were pissed off and they were more pissed off at the teacher and everything. But the thing about that is, and it's crazy because I, I, could, I could see where the teacher was coming from because this past year I worked with high school students. And it was at a, it was, um, at a high school, but it was for, it was supposed to be like an alternative school. And to me, I just think they t attached their name to it because... It was, it was some kids that had tempers or they came from um, families who did drugs or they was um, came from um, families that were, um, what I want to say, or they seen, to me, I mean, it's not, well, it's everyday life, whatever, well, some, some I don't even know how to explain it because it's like giving them an excuse because it's other kids that go through stuff that lose a parent or had a parent that was on drugs or or grew up in poverty, or lived in like the projects or whatever, and and they didn't act up, you know. If y'all hear some noises, the kids outside, whatever. But um, so in the school that I, the high school that I have worked in, that was the, and I've been working with kids for a minute, but I can tell you all that that school was the worst that I've ever seen teenagers act. I was like, what the fuck and excuse my language or anything but y'all know I cuss anyway but I'm like it was it was it was crazy and matter of fact when I had first started working there it was a young girl named, it was a young girl that named um uh matter of fact Takia her name was Takia and I'm in the classroom and the teacher's um calling the students names or everything and the kids are trying to be funny and so they call her name or everything and so it was a new teacher or whatever. So the kids was um, um, used to be more so than they was to this new teacher or whatever. And so the teacher was like, well, who is Takia? And I pointed to the, who Takia was or whatever. All of a sudden, the girl, she got mad. I was like, don't point at me, bitch, and this, that, and this, that, and this, that, and all this other stuff. And I can't remember exactly what else she said, but I do remember that she said she had whooped my ass. So I'm looking like, and all on my face, my face is like, you gonna whoop whose ass? You go whoop, and, I, and I'm looking around like, and the kids are just laughing or everything, because I'm looking at her like she's crazy. Like, little girl, you ain't gonna whoop my ass. Do you know who you're talking to? So I'm just looking at her like she's crazy or everything. So when she said that to stop myself from whooping her ass, I had to walk out the classroom. I left the other teacher in there by himself, and I went to go get a, um, I went to go get the dean. And I'm, I'm explaining to him that she says she's whooped my ass and all this other stuff. And look, if, if she even comes toward me and look like she will try to whoop my mouth. Well, I ain't say that. If she even looks, and that's what I want to say. And that's, that's the attitude that I gave her. If she even looks like she wants to come and try to put hands on me, I'm going to fuck this little bitch up. It is what it is. I don't have no cut cards or whatever. If she put her hands on me, I'm going to lay hands on her. And I'm going to lay her flat out on this floor and let her know. 
and give her the business. And so the dean telling me, well, she's not going to touch you and everything. This is what she always do. She has an IEP. And I'm like, this is what she do. And she do this to all her teachers and everything. And so I go back in the classroom and everything. The dean come get her and everything. And she's walking past me, mean mugging and everything or whatever. Like, I'm supposed to be intimidated and scared or whatever. And so I got a smirk on my face. And while I had this smirk on my face, I'm praying hard as I don't know what. Lord, please do not let this little girl swing on me because if she swing on me, I'm about to show her something today. She's about to learn today. Don't let her swing on me. So, it's like, I'm not going to say all the kids in there were bad, but it's like, it, it was crazy because um, these kids walked around the school cursing. They had cell phones. They, they were supposed to turn their cell phones. Matter of fact, it was metal detectors at school. So, as soon as you came into school, the kids came to school, they went to the metal detectors. They had to... Um, Leave their cell phones with, um, everybody had to turn their cell phone in. Well, some kids was able to get through the, um, the metal detector without, you know, I have even had, um, it was one girl named Alexis and Alexis, it was, it was like, um, all the, it was like all the kids are scared of Alexis and I'm, and I'm looking at Alexis like, why, why are they scared of Alexis? And so one day, um. Matter of fact, one day I squared up with one of the kids outside after school. And see, I never had to worry about anything because, see, it's this thing with kids or whatever where there's no snitching and they're not going to tell. And so one of the students, it was, um, yeah, we actually, um, actually squared up outside. And I'm like, go. And so, so we squared up and everything. We, we you know, you, and, I, and I'm like, go, I'm, I'm like, go ahead and swing. I ain't going to, and, and they, they're like, no, you'll call the feds. You'll call the feds. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. As long as you don't say nothing, I ain't gonna say nothing. But I'm about to fuck you up out here. So go ahead and swing. Go ahead and swing so I can have a reason to beat your ass. That's what I'm saying. And but they, they never they never did swing or anything, whatever. So But then um they they got Alexis, whatever. And so um one day I think I was going was I going home? Yeah. And I was catching a bus or whatever. And so I go to the bus stop and everything. And all the little kids at the bus stop and everything in the snow out there. And they throw a snowball trying to hit me. So I'm looking at everything and I'm laughing. Because they throw the snowball like towards where my area was at whatever. But they wouldn't hit me. So it got to the point where I was like, you know what? Do y'all got a problem? What, what's the problem? Do y'all want to what? What is it? So all of them, they left and everything whatever. And then they ended up coming back. And it was like, I think um, another lady... And a man and her kids, the teenagers, they end up doing a snowball at um at this lady. And I used to always tell the kids that y'all need to be careful because when y'all leave out of school grounds or everything, y'all are going to run into an adult who don't give a fuck. And you do something to them, they're going to fuck you up. It is what it is. They, they will tear your ass up. And sometimes it's, it's wild because you had sometimes you had to talk to the kids just like that. You, you you had to know who to do it in front of and everything, whatever, like what adult to do it in front of. But I would tell them, you go run into the wrong adult, whatever, and they will fuck you up. And they're not going to care whether you're supposed to be a teenager or a little girl or whatever. Because guess what? You're jumping out there like you're a grown adult or whatever. So, you know. And so, they do the snowball at this lady and everything, this man. But that lady and that man, they ain't play. They came back over to that group and everything. And the whole group ran and everything. So, I'm just laughing and everything. And I'm like, mm. So then the girl named Alexis, she got mad because she's embarrassed with her because she's supposed to go hard now. Everybody's scared of Alexis. So, so she come back to me and say, excuse me. Do you want to fight me? And so I, I laugh, whatever. And I'm like, <laughs> do I want to fight you? And I was like, little girl, go ahead. Little girl, go ahead. You don't want it. You ain't stepped to that lady. You're not going to step to me. Go ahead, little girl. You don't want it. Please. So when, when, when it's only so much that a teacher can take and everything. So the, the, the teacher, she, 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 um, got the girl's head and she's flinging her ass up against the locker and tearing that ass up and everything. And there's other students there that's, they, they grabbing a the teacher, but the teacher so strong, took off her shoes or everything. She pushing one of the students or anything, whatever. And she's like, bitch, I'll kill you up in here and all this other stuff. And I don't know how many times she had a run up with that child or whatever, but you could tell she had had it up to here and that was like the last straw or whatever. So she got fired, whatever. But I think the student should get um, expelled because her aunt and her grandmother even said that the girl has a habit of getting into fights. And, you know, it's even it's even proven that the girl started the shit on her. What's her name? And, and she's 17. So to me, 17 is close to 18. You're old enough to know, you know, you can't keep on copping out. Uh, she, she's a little girl and you're supposed to be the role model and the adult and everything. Because kids, these days, I'm not saying all of them, but these teenagers out here can be very, very disrespectful. I mean... It got to the point where we had visitors in the school and the kids would be cussing. My eyes would get all big and I'd be like, it got to the point I ain't even say excuse them or sorry or anything. I, I, I got to the point where I ain't even say watch your mouth anymore because 
if you had, and I, I used to try to explain to them that if you have any type of respect for yourself and your family and your mother and your father or whoever is your guardian, if you have any type of respect for them, you wouldn't come outside cursing or anything, trying to square up, acting like you you the world's baddest bitch or the world's baddest thug or, 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 or whatever it was. So, so it, it, it was crazy. That's the, that's the wildest stuff I didn't ever seen. And so going around cussing, sneaking their cell phones, whatever, and just cussing, just, just cussing, just be cussing or anything. And every word that came out of their mouth was a cuss word. Now I'm not saying all of them was like that because I had my ones that were, um, that were very sweet, but it was hard because when new students would come up in there, new students that didn't curse and everything, all of a sudden they'll see the kids that's cursing or everything. Next thing you know, they'll start cursing and you know, it, it was, it was wild. And I would have to call some people's parents and everything, and, and it was wild. Once you call some of the parents, whatever, you see why and see where they got their attitude from, and see, you know. So, I really hope the teacher get um. I hope she get a job back. Um. Maybe maybe after the first time, I don't know, cause cause it seems hard because after she after she whooped the girl's ass a little bit, and they and the, and the students broke up broke them up and everything. Maybe the teacher could have walked away, but emotions are so, are so high at that point, and, and you and you you to the point of highest pissivity, even though it's not a word, but yes, yeah, will be a word, you know. You're to the point of you're 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 like fired the fuck up because you're like I can't believe this little bitch tried me, and 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 I wouldn't even let my kids come at me like that. My family members, or you know, what what makes this little bitch think I'm gonna let her think she ruled me and think she, you know, and so. Kids really, teenagers really got to think you, if you, you, you will actually meet your match one day, you will actually meet that adult who just don't give a fuck and who will teach you and, and give you the ass woman that you're, uh, you're, that you always deserve. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's crazy. It, it was crazy. And I'm just looking like, and I'm saying all the comments or everything. And I feel for the teacher because. When I was working in that high school, it was crazy. It, it, it was the principal. I mean, it, it is wild because the principal he had a little control over them because they would try to, you know, because he could put their asses out. And it was a charter school too, so you you couldn't put too many at, at a certain point. You couldn't really put the kids out because you wanted the money for the school and everything. So after a certain point, then you could put them out. And the kid, it was like the kids knew that. The kids knew, but it was crazy because it, it was just crazy because that's the wildest I've ever seen kids act like in a school and I was like dang I went to a Merlin school Merlin kids would never never cuss inside of a school like this never never they would never fight like this they would never they would never jump up in a teacher's face none of that you would be fucking expelled for a year what I the, the, the first the first time you jumped up in a teacher's face and threw a book in a teacher's face or whatever your ass would be expelled for a whole year no Merlin schools your ass better take your ass to D.C., Virginia, or somewhere, but you're not going to the Merlin schools acting like that and cussing or anything, and to be cussing like that, walking around cussing or everything. No, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say Merlin is the bomb all like that or everything. But as far as not playing, Merlin didn't play that shit. They really didn't. So, mm, I think the, I think the, um, the, I think the teenager to be expelled, and I think maybe the teacher should be given a warning. But if if these kids keep it up, whatever, it, it's gonna be like it's a, it's gonna be nobody who's time enough or who's willing to um put up with kids acting like that. And I can't say I, I blame them because who got time for that? Either you want to be there, and you want to learn, or you want or, or it's crazy. And it's like the kids where where I was at, they want to do they want to do whatever they want to do. Like it was one kid, Courtney. She cuss your ass up up and down all day long. Suck her thumb, whatever, and, and and then once her mother found out, act like a baby and cry. And you, do, I'm called to call your mother, and I didn't even do it. And, and, and this and this and this wow, it was like to the point where I was like, can we start recording these kids without them knowing, and show their parents? Can we? So mm, that was just wild. And then the other topic is um, Omarion and his baby mother April. And then after this, I ain't gonna tell them when I'm gonna do a video, or whatever again. So. Y'all, y'all be easy and all that other stuff. But um, anyway, Omari on his baby mother. I'm not sure if this is true or not. But I heard they broke up because it was on me to take out Global Grind and was it the Tavis? No, not Tavis. My Richard Smiley. Rich, just, just, you, you know what? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. One of those um little like TMZ like little things or, or might have been TMZ whatever. And they said that Omari on his baby mother broke up because he wanted her to take a DNA test. 
and she was crying and she went off and everything, whatever. And she said no. And so after she calmed down or everything, he asked her again and she said no. And the, the, the comments that I've read off of that was one man was like, I, I believe DNA test should be mandatory after you had a baby. A DNA test should be mandatory. And I don't think so. I mean, you have to know who you're sleeping around with. You need to know who you're sleeping with. And I don't know, you, you can't let people put a bug in your ear. His mother, I heard that his mother was saying that the baby looked biracial on April. She has um th this fine hair and... Omarion's hair, same, I guess, curly too, whatever. So the grain of hair that the baby came out with, it looked kind of, um, it's not, it's, it's not, um, it's not kinky curly. It's like a straight and a stick up all over the place. But then, then her hair is the same way, whatever. And so he's a little baby boy. And the, and the mother told him all he looked Mexican and her ex-boyfriend was Mexican and this, that, and all of other stuff. But the complexion that Omarion have and that April have, it's like when those two complexions mesh, then he would look like a little, a little foreign baby or, or like... I'm not sure what April is, but or whatever she got in, but she's she's mixed, she's biracial or something. So it seemed like it, he would um take after her too. So I don't know. I hope they didn't break up, whatever. But you shouldn't if you've been with a person for a certain amount of time, and then you should know who you with and everything. And everybody like, well, if she know the baby his and everything, then why don't she just take the test and everything? And I can see where they coming from because if it was me, but I probably would take the test, but I would leave your ass the fuck alone too. Because that's offensive, so I get why she won't do it because she's offended because she's like, well, Dad, if, uh, well, I don't, and I don't know if the baby was playing or anything, but if the baby was playing, then you should know who you who you having a baby with. And then he was bragging. When, 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 when he first had the baby, he was bragging. One of the hashtags was, my, my son got good hair. Now, all of a sudden, because your mother put a little bug in your ear and it seemed like your mother jealous or everything. And his mother is jealous. It is what it is. His mother is jealous or whatever. Come on, she not, you can tell she's not going to be a good parent and all of that stuff. You can't tell who's going to be a good parent just by looking at them. So... Hmm. I see why she didn't do it because she's offended and everything. But I'm like, I probably would take the test and I would leave Amari on the fuck alone because if you could believe something like that, then his mother will always be or always be able to say something about the relationship and he always listen to everything. And now you're a grown ass man or anything with your own family, with your girlfriend or everything. And if y'all plan on getting married or anything, then you know, you gotta stand up and I don't know. But I'm like, but yeah, I just wanted to know y'all thoughts on that so y'all can leave a comment, um, whatever. Um, like I said, I'm not sure when I'm going to do another video. If it, if I see something that I feel like talking about. Because doing videos, is, um, it's kind of like therapeutic. It's like I get to talk and y'all get to listen and, you know. Yeah, so if I see any, so if I see any other interesting things that I want to talk about or y'all can let me know which y'all want me to talk about, and I um, do it, whatever. But as far as, um, I mean, one one of our subscribers, I guess he's still a subscriber. <laughs> I guess he's still a subscriber and everything. But I don't want to talk about circumcision. I'm not. I don't feel like, mm -mm, I'm not talking about circumcision no more. So stuff like that won't be talked about. So, y'all be easy. Y'all, yeah, don't y'all don't stress. Don't worry about things. Try to stay stay as stress free as possible, and it's for everybody. Try to stay as stress free as possible. Don't worry about things you can't change. I mean, yeah. Stay positive. Try to have positive thoughts and everything, and yeah, try to will good things to you. And y'all be easy.